right, so I'm going to do this out a half inch. I, it'll be fine. I'm going to flush mount it. Um, they're just tweeter pods. They're an A pillar. They're not going to have a lot of abuse. They're not heavy. So it should work out just fine. But, you know, the first thing you want to do is, you know, I'm going to drill my pallet hole, which um, I'm taking, I'm going to probably be making the three and a half inch be an outside diameter. I'm, I'm not positive on that. I, I got to, not sure what I want it, you know, size wise, but, you know. For right now, we're going to drill the pilot hole and get and started. And then all you have to do is set the pin on the hole that you need, and it's marked. Um, I shouldn't say it's three and a half. I got to set it at three and a half because I want it, it to go to the outside. So, yeah, you know, we'll be something like right in there. But uh, give me a second here. I'll set this up and then I'll. I try said to film I feel working and trying to hold the camera. My. I, I truly have a lot of respect for Steve Me just for that fact alone. <laughs> um, it's not easy. So here we go. Okay, so this is the ring, the uh, whatever the holder for the flush mount. As you see, I want it a little bit on each end, so that size will work. Um, the only thing is, I'm not sure if there's the jig. I never measured this because I'd like to countersink this a little bit. Give me. Yeah, so I'd like to countersink this a little bit. Which it's two, roughly around two and an eighth, I think. I'm gonna have to remeasure the actual rings that go over that, the trim rings, and make sure. I think these only go down to two and a quarter. We'll see. Um, yeah, two and a quarter. Okay, so here's my attempt to try to make them countersunk a little bit. Um, it's gonna be a bigger hole than I need I need a little less than two and an eighth this only goes down to two and a quarter but I think that'll be fine I don't think it'll look stupid because of the vinyl and the fact that I'm only gonna go down um, a, a little bit um, I'm gonna try an eighth inch see what that looks like and so on and so forth so um, here we go. I'm gonna go down a little deeper. Okay, well now that that's done, there we go. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, actually, I think that'll work perfect. Um, yeah, so I mean, basically, that's what you'll have. So then basically I'll be cutting it out and boom there you okay, have it. Okay well there's no way of recording it drilling it out with a hole saw. I had to use two hands there's no doubt about it and I can't get help around here. Uh, kids doesn't want to be bothered so uh, that's what it looks like. Um, let me see. That's it in. Boom. That's the finished product. When it's wrapped with vinyl, it'll be nice, should be pretty flush. So, 
that's what we got. Okay, after a little bit of sanding and stuff, this is how they turned out. Um, I don't want to round over the edges too much because I don't know how I want them in there yet. So I'll go from there. But here's the A pillar. Um, now these are going to be actually these tweeters are going to be facing up towards the windshield towards the center of the windshield like that um, I'm going to have to wait until the wife gets home from work to mount them figure out how I want to do them but that's where we are um, I was hoping to actually get this done today get them in fleece today which she should be home from work soon so hopefully I can go out and check them out As you can see, so I'm gonna let these set up pretty much overnight. Just let them sit here, let the glue really take hold because I'm not sure letting it sit longer is gonna keep it from releasing with the resin or not. But I'm gonna find out. If this don't turn out right, big deal. Pull it off. I'll do it with felt. And go for there okay here they are uh, fiberglass resins on them um, didn't turn out exactly perfect but really close uh, close enough that yeah I can you know I, I gotta reinforce them so I can add shape a little more to the shape that way and also with the Bondo I'll get the shape perfect um, it's a process anybody who's done it knows that yeah, it's not something that is just turns out perfect right away you gotta work it so so here they are fiberglass reinforced and also sanded ready for bondo turned out pretty decent gonna need a pretty much bondo I didn't blow them off that's where all that white stuff is it's just powder um, but gonna need pretty much bondo to get the shape I want. I'm not too worried about strength because they are gonna be the A pillars, so they ain't gonna get any kind of abuse or anything like that. Um, using that fiberglass uh, cloth to wrap them actually turned out pretty decent. Um, not too bad. Um, fleece would have probably been a lot easier, but unfortunately i did find out where the fleece was it was in the car the wife was at work so but you know for having it improvised it turned out really good so yeah here the a pillars are bondoed up as i said before i'm not good at bondoing so they look kind of rough but just a lot more sanding I would have to do which is what I'm going to be doing okay, right now. After sanding it down just got a couple little small sparks that I want to take care of and then it should be good. Everything else looks really good. Um, like I said before even though this fiberglass mat works uh, or I should say cloth works uh, I think felt is a lot better so lesson learned okay so here they are finished sanding done ready for wrap turned out pretty decent I'm gonna be wrapping them maybe today yet I don't know I'm gonna give it a try it is getting kind of warm out I'm gonna see what happens we're gonna give it a try uh, like I said this is my first time ever working with vinyl you can see um, so hopefully it turns out good okay I'm starting at the pot itself not sure if that's the right place but that's what I did last time work my way both sides flatten it down so, lucky. 
Over or tight. So right now I'm just trying to make it pull all the wrinkles out of it that form because of going around this. So as you can see here, there's a wrinkle. Which is fine for right now because I gotta stretch the other side. It's a pain in the ass really. Get the other side stretched around. Now we're going to try to pull that out. Kind of like that. Now you work out these wrinkles. Really, I found the trick to it is just pull like hell. <laughs> I mean, that's all I'm doing here. Okay, so here they are, both finished. Um, sorry, my kid bailed on me. So, couldn't do any more video of how to stretch, but you got the point of it. It was just more of what the video was, but... I said the shadowing really makes it look like it's actually coming up, but it's actually just shadows. But looks real good. Tweeters are in. I put the tweeters in, um, as you can see. Um, here's what I was talking about with the whole semi-flush look. You can see here. It's basically makes it so the just the, the dome of the grill sticking out so should look really good